Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Fire in the body. You demon spirit. I say you demon spirit. You demon spirit. You demon spirit. What do you go? There is power. Mighty. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Let's listen to this angelic visitation while the man of God, Prophet M.K. Lazarus, was ministering mass prayer. Watch the video. Kwa mgongo, mgongo ikapandishwa ika, ikapitishwa kwa kichwa mpaka karibu na macho but hajaishikanisha na macho Hiyo ilikuwa saa ngapi During mass prayer Saa mass prayer Wow si ni kumaanisha already Mungu ameshafanya yeye deliverance na operation He will see that is a promise from God ataona in Jesus name Let's listen to this angelic visitation while the man of God, Prophet M.K. Lazarus, was ministering mass Kwa manjina na hitwa Rose. Kwa manjina mugonjwa for the last almost four years now. Amekuwa completely mental. Nyumbani, hizo miaka zote ya jaoga, sikuata moja. Ajanyua nywele na ilikuwa ilazima alazimisho kubadilisha nguo zake. So you can imagine the picture yenye ilikuwa. So ilikuwa imefika wakati nikaambia mungu over to you. Sijui what to do matibabu ifanyi kaza. Mwachia. So I'm so happy. Hata sijui niseme nini. I'm just excited. My son is back. Mali alikuwa merudi. Woo! Hallelujah! Wow. Kachanguo. Ize iso zenye alikuwa mevazi kachomwa. Hameongea for those four years hajaongea. Hameongea. He's back to now. I just, I see you in a seminar. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. kidogo. Hebu tuelezee chanzo cha mtoto wako kugojeka ilikuwa ni nini? Okay, I can't really tell. Kwa sababu nikijaribu kushikanisha siwezi shikanisha. Before then, there was a time I was a, a very good opportunity. Ya, ya kubeta is live but that was not enough kumufikisha state yenye alikuwa he was okay he just woke up one day and he was not okay again alipotea tu hivyo na akapotea hivyo hebu tueleze kijana wako wako na miaka ngapi is 27 years now pengine hebu tueleze alikuwa anafanya kazi Maisha yake ilikuwa aje before angojeke. Yes. Alisoma vizuri, akamaliza high school, haka qualify, kuenda university. Haka ingia kazi, he was working in a kamban, he was okay. He was completely, completely okay. Until just one day, haka muka na papu. Haka potea. Alikuwa kwa kazi. Ama alikuwa nyumbani, ama alikuwa wapi. Dio, iyo, ali mkujie kwa maisha aki. Ok, ili alikuja kupotea kabisa, 
but i believe ilikuwa imeanza ni vile seek notice kwa sababu the kamban ambayo ilikuwa imemwandika imemwajiri kazi walinipigia simu after yeye kukosa <coughs> kuripoti kazi for like a week wakaniuliza kama najua mali yuko i didn't know ame amepotea namna hiyo but uh, aliacha kazi hivyo and by god's grace and i believe and nothing can change me that was the power of god the spirit of god ilimchukua ikamtoa from the city ikampeleka to my country home where mi naamini tu ni kazi ya Mungu maana angeshikwa na hiyo kiti huku town ingekuwa shida ingine but up country inakuwa ni rais kumomenenge na last watu wanajua huyu ni wawapi wana wana adis wanamurudisha au kupotea hebu tueleze kama mama uliweza kumuona wakati huo aliweza kuacha kazi ndio kichwa iruke pengine ulimuona siku kumuona akiwa mgonjwa nilimuona akiwa nyumbani ndio nilipigiwa simu nikaambiwa the young man is behaving very funny like niliambiwa he would kubeba drum ya 100 liters anaibirigisha anaenda nayo mali mpaka arudishwe na aka change akiwa wakati alifika nyumbani ndio akili zilipotea kabisa i think hata kuna wapendwa hapa at least i think i thank this church for the brotherhood and sisterhood kuna wapenda wako hapa ambao walimenage kutembea na mimi nyumbani kuomba na wao kuna wale hata walienda kijana hakuonekana because he was not okay yako julikana yako wapi i think tunaelewa tukisema mwenda wazimu ajulikani yako ako wapi kwa hivyo hawakumuona hawakumenage kumuona kuna wale walimuona wanajua status yake so they understand what i'm talking about he was bad pengin uliweza kumpeleka hospitali yes alitibiwa but hakupona daktari walisema shida ni nini wanasema tu ni mental problem wanampatia dawa na hizo dawa venye tulimwangalia ilikuwa like zinamweka kwa us, kind of usingizi zikiisha is analipuka tena so mi ilifika mahali nikasema imani ambayo niko nayo kwa Mungu wa babangu hiyo ndiyo nitangoja and i thank god at that trying moment god yakuniwaacha vile tunafundishwa hapa ya kwamba god has a word for every situation i remember there was a night i really cried to god in this halta na god was faithful akanipatia neno lake ambalo iko john 11:40 akaniambia have and i told you if you believe you will see my glory and indeed kwa imani yangu nimeona utukufu wa Mungu amen wa tupigie Yesu makofi na vile umesema wakati malaika alikuwa anakufanyia operation paka kwa macho ulikuwa unaaminia mume wako shida ya mume wako ni gani uh, mume naye mume wangu naye for over two years now he was okay before then but he went blind i'm still trusting god and believing god for his glory over his life amen na kwa saa hii kijana pengine anaweza kuwa kwa nyumba hajakuja bado akikuja will still testify of these works of god nitakuja naye na nikuje na kila kitu at least muone sijui amuelewe amwezi elewa <laughs> amen tunashukuru mungu kwa saa hii unaambiwa anaendeleaje umesema alikuwa anajificha hataki kuona watu aongei kukuna alishida saa hii unaambiwa ako vipi pale nyumbani okay is okay ako sawa kabisa sio hiyo kuoga moja amekuwa akioga akichange back then chakula iada afani trade angekula mali watu kulia 
kuna mali angewekewa chakula with particular utensils akili zake ni kama azikujua mtu anaweza kukulia kwa anything else apart from particular ones kama sio hizo ataziangalia hizo chakula na akuli now is okay is okay is just okay amen umeweza kuongea na yeye yeah is okay kabisa amekuambia nini kama mtoto wako uliyezaa na ulikuwa unamuelewa mlipoongea alikuambia nini kama mama okay i'm taking is with him tuliongea tu ile ya mama na mtoto akaniambia mama niko sawa na nikamwambia kuje ana relax kwanza atakuja pigia yesu makofi aki huyu ni Mungu ametenda hayo miaka 4 amekuwa kichwa wake ajielewi na Mungu kupitia tu kwa malaika wa Mungu kufanya operation kupitia kwa mama yake ikaenda mpaka nyumbani kwa mtoto suyu ni Mungu tupigie Yesu makofi haleluya amen tunashukuru Mungu kwa shuhuda wako dada yetu endelea kushia huyu Mungu na kukaa kwa huyu Mungu na atatenda zaidi wow that is not enough for your lord jesus christ put your hands together for jesus Indeed in the presence of God healing deliverance is just like breathing all you need to have is just to have faith and we connect with the anointing that is operating at the moment our sister by the name Rose she resides here in Lolongo she says on 3rd March she came here for a service and she was believing for the husband who has been 2 years with an issue of blindness And during the service before man of God started ministration she had an encounter with the angels and in that encounter she saw like someone was you know uh injecting her from the back almost to the veins of the head but she could not understand but according to her she understood that indeed God is doing some operation to the blind husband a week later She received the call. She could not understand the call from the from the son. And this is the testimony. The son who has been mentally ill for four years. She called back just to tell her that she's okay. Someone who could not walk, walk well, someone who could not talk, someone who could not eat, someone who could not take shower. Immediately that after that angelic visitation the son is completely healed and delivered to the glory of God. Why can't we celebrate the name of Jesus better? Amen. Nikurudishe nyuma kidogo dada yangu. Hebu tuelezee changamoto zenye ulipitia wakati kijana alikuwa amegojeka. Okay, as a mother it's really challenging. Uh, kijana kama huyo with such a demonic attack at the prime of his life miaka ambayo angekuwa anapangisha maisha yake nilisumbuka sana nilisumbuka sana it was it was painful it was really painful but i thank god it is over amen it is over in jesus name kuna mtu pengine anakutazama kwa malapa anapitia hali kama hiyo alikuwa anapitia unaweza ukamuhimiza vipi kitu naweza ambia watu hatuna nguvu zetu hatuna uweza wetu tuamini Mungu na tumwachie kazi yake na atatenda amen muachie Mungu kazi yake na atatenda Amen. Tupigie dada yetu makofi anapoenda kuketi kwa utukufu wa Mungu tunapomshangilia huyu Yesu. Haleluya. Shangilia Yesu. Maana ni yeye ametenda hayo yote. But I thank God. It is over. Amen. It is over in Jesus name. Kuna mtu pengine anakutazama kwa malapa anapitia hali kama hiyo alikuwa anapitia. Unaweza ukamuhimiza vipi? kitu naweza ambia watu 
Hatuna nguvu zetu. Hatuna uweza wetu. Tuamini Mungu na tumwachie kazi yake na atatenda. Amen. Muachie Mungu kazi yake na atatenda. Amen. Tupigie dada yetu makofi anapoenda kuketi kwa utukufu wa Mungu tunapomshangilia huyu Yesu. Haleluya. Shangilia Yesu. Maana ni yeye ametenda hayo yote. Amen.